What is up? We are Wrestling Maniacs out there worldwide. I'm the host with the most, Mr. We Are Wrestling himself, the best one, Donnie, here back with a brand new reaction video. It's been a minute. If you're not a We Are Wrestling Maniac yet already and you're not a part of the thousands of subscribers, we recommend you to hit that subscribe button now, turn on the post notifications, videos be coming out of nowhere like an RKO, and of course you already know, the grind is real. And some of you are probably wondering, I thought you were stopping reaction videos. And I am, you know, not doing reaction videos regularly anymore, but when something big happens like the number one actor in Hollywood, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, on SmackDown, of course I have to give you guys my genuine reaction watching it. I have not watched SmackDown at all because yesterday I was busy all day because my nephew was born and, you know, my cousin, my best friend, this kid I consider a brother, him, you know, and his girlfriend, they, you know, just had a baby yesterday and I got the opportunity to meet him and yeah, family, you know, always comes first. But guys, we have The Rock back on WWE TV. I know this whole Hollywood strike thing sucks, but it doesn't suck for WWE because we've got John Cena and The Rock. Now we just need Batista. So here we go. I'm very excited, guys. Super excited. Oh, yeah, we got Pat McAfee starting. Here we go. And I know um, The Rock and him just did an interview recently over on ESPN. I've heard bits and pieces of it. I haven't, you know, checked it out yet. So maybe, you know, I might do a reaction on that maybe eventually, but I don't know. We'll see. Probably just talk about it on, like, an extra or something. But here we go, man. It's been a minute since we've had Pat McAfee. Here we go. Killing it right now on ESPN. You know, I was just up the road in the Rockies for a college game day covering Dion Sanders in the Colorado Buffaloes. One of the best, you know, kickers of all time yeah, in the NFL. To keep up with the greatest wrestling show to ever grace television, WWE SmackDown, I saw that it was an hour away in this gorgeous city, and there was zero percent chance I wasn't going to take the ride down here to feel the greatest universe on earth, the WWE. Man, let's go. Pat McAfee is such a gem in this business, seriously. And anytime you get the opportunity the to have him on WWE TV, you have to take advantage of it. it is have to. It's my honor to say welcome to Friday Night SmackDown! Woo! Great way to start. Ah, we're getting Austin Theory. So I'm assuming we're going to get a segment here with Austin Theory and The Rock, I think. Yep. He's lost so much momentum, so honestly, this could be a good thing for him. But I really do want, like, Theory to turn babyface. That's one thing I really want. A Town Down, screaming out loud. A Town Down. One thing I'm noticing here is Vince is not, you know, running creative control over here because he would never allow two guys to wear the same stuff. Unless they're a tag team. In theory, he's literally wearing the same clothes as Pat McAfee right now. So we know Triple H is running this show tonight. This is Austin Theory Live! Woo! He's getting some of that heat! And look what the cat dragged in. Mm. I'm trying to think. He talks like a generic My Career player. A lot of the people that live here, a lot of oxygen doesn't get to their brain because we're so high up. You know, kind of like you. <laughs> Damn. They got to boo me. I'm 26 years old. I'm everywhere. You at 26? Well, you just had a mug shot. But me, oh, I'm on a, I'm on damn. a shirt I'm on a backpack. There's nothing that I can't do. Hey, shut your mouths. <laughs> 
yes, here we go. Here we go. Start cooking. Because of you. Me and you got unfinished business. I don't know who you think you are, because you got a private jet. You got a little desk you sit behind and talk about college football all day. Well, guess what? Theory's low-key cooking. I got cooking. something real special for you. You see, I'm going to drop you right here in a couple seconds. And you know what's going to happen? Listen up. You are going to go back to your show, sitting there, injured, not able to do a damn thing, just like Aaron Rodgers. Oh, come on. Don't disrespect Rodgers like that. You know, come on. I'm not the biggest Rodgers fan, but injuries suck. You are trying to dress like me and be like me. Wait, wait, you think I want to be like you? Dog, when I wear a black tank top, I look like a Greek god. When you wear a black tank top, you look like your ass is supposed to be flipping fries. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, Greek god. I don't want to fight you right now, okay? No, I'm, I am currently god. enjoying the hell out of the local laws here, and that is not necessarily something <laughs> Love Bad Magazine. At the beginning, you said this isn't SmackDown. This is what Austin. What Austin Theory Live? Get used to it, loser. Biggest problem with you? You're so disrespectful, not only to the business as a whole, but to all of these people out here. You think I care about these people, Austin? This will never be your show. This is the people show. And I see where they're going with this. Means? <laughs> I see where they're going with this. TV. I'm just going to say it right here, man. Let's have Cody Rhodes, you know, dethrone Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble. Let's have The Rock, you know, go against Roman in the main event of WrestleMania. Come on. Nothing's bigger than that. Especially now that Endeavor, you know, owns WWE more than Vince McMahon. This can easily happen. Dude, The Rock is fucking back. And I know their deal with Fox and USA is coming up, so, man, it's coming up, so, having The Rock on TV, that adds more money up there, man, negotiable. Especially if we're going to get The Rock at Mania. Dude, I love this. I fucking love this. This might be one of the highlights of 2023, man. Oh, The Rock doing the Austin Theory selfie with the fan. Love it. Love it. Let's go. Look at all of the phones in the crowd. Seriously, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment. I love this for Austin Theory, man. He's only 26 years old. And, you know, within his career, he was able to be in segments with Vince McMahon, Stone Cold, John Cena, and now The Rock. Man, they really have big plans for Theory for years to come. And you can't deny the talent. You can't deny his talent. He just needs something different. Theory right now must be shitting his fucking pants. Imagine that, like being a kid, you have a dream of being a WWE superstar, and then you get to be in the middle of the ring with The Rock. That's absolutely mind blowing. Oh my god. This is amazing. Only if Roman Reigns is on this show, man, we could have started something. Oh, 
Come on, Fox. Come on, why do you gotta... Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! There we go. But come on, why you gotta blur that out? One thing I hope with Endeavored Man is we get TV 14 back. But I highly doubt it. But then again, UFC's violent, so they could. Woo! Come on, Theory, I want you to hold your own. It's been a long time, Rock. Then again, I want The Rock to cook time. you, too. But let me go ahead and tell you. Shut your bitch ass up. No! <laughs> Let's go! Yo! Here we go! <laughs> you clearly don't know how all this works. Let him know, Rocky. Let him know. Damn! <laughs> Nobody's a Greek god compared to The Rock. <laughs> oh man, that fan, that, that's awesome. Finally! The, the Rock has come back! <laughs> Burr, let's go! He's back. He's back! This is awesome. I would have loved to see like The Rock and LA Knight do something. I hope we get something tonight. Oh man! This is awesome! I love this. Maybe I should try. Finally! And Austin back in the ring again one last time. Oh time. Oh boy. Oh, that fan stand on, man. I'm hot. I'm hot. A real ass kicker. The Austin that is going to go on and be so great. I'm going to be the entire Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Well, The Rock says it doesn't matter. Ah, he got you, Rocky. He got you. <laughs> Such a douchebag. Love it. Love it. I love Austin Theory. It actually does matter what The Rock says. <laughs> it does matter. You got that right. <laughs> and it actually does matter, more importantly than what The Rock says, what the people say. You bring up Stone Cold Steve Austin. That's The Rock's boy. But if he were here right now, this, this is what he would say. If you want to see me beat this jabroni's ass, give me a hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah! So you see, the roof just blew Let's off the go. place because we are live. And as The Rock said, this is The Rock, it's SmackDown, and it's a Rock show. And it matters what they say. So you see Technically, SmackDown is, is, you know, The Rocks. <laughs> you want to talk trash about Stone Cold, talk trash about Pat, talk trash about the people? Well, The Rock says this, you're, 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 you're Austin Theory, right? You're damn right. Right, right, right. And you're, um, you're from, um, you're from A-Town, is that right? You're damn right. Well, something else that I'm damn right about is you clearly are an a-hole. <laughs> He's gonna get the crowd to chant a-hole. And I'm gonna show you. Oh, the rock is gonna show you because we are live. And here's how the rock is gonna show you. <laughs> Oh, you see, in about three seconds, this side of the arena is gonna chant, you are, and then this side of the arena is gonna chant, The Rock is an orchestrator, man. <laughs> three, two, one. Come on, Fox, are you fucking serious? I should have watched this on like YouTube, like uncensored. Why did I go on YouTube TV? Damn it. Oh man. The. Come on, Fox, you let the rock call him a bitch! Yeah, you can't call. You, you, you freaking blur out a hole? Oh, this is annoying. Hold on one second. That, that was amazing, by the way. Denver, Colorado. I'll definitely be rewatching that. <laughs> that was amazing. The Rock has got goop spots right there, but you know what? This is the Rock show. It's a people show. This is the people. Now we're gonna give this side a chance to say. 
And this side of <laughs> Come on, man. Damn it. Stop boring it. Oh, man. I wish I could be there for The Rock. I wish. Stop blurring it, Fox. Are you serious? Censoring it. <laughs> yeah, Theory looks like he's about to pop a blood vessel. Man, The Rock knows how to control a crowd, that's for sure. Alright, right, there we go, finally. He doesn't know who you are, but he knows what you are, and clearly... <laughs> You're an asshole! His name is Austin Theory. The Rock has a theory of his own. And here's the thing. You come out here on The Rock Show, the people show SmackDown, you run down the people. They're the reasons why it makes it all happen. The Rock says this. Here's The Rock's theory. In about three seconds, The Rock is going to whoop your candy ass all over the Oh! Spidebuster, here we go! We're gonna get the people's elbow! Let's go! We're gonna get the people's elbow! Too bad he doesn't have the elbow pad to throw it onto the crowd! Here we go! It's been a long time! Yo, we're gonna get the people's elbow. We're gonna get the people's elbow! Let's go! There's so much money to be made. Rock versus Reigns. So much money to be made. Got him. What a fantastic way to start SmackDown off. Oh, he's going to let Matt McAfee do it now. Here we go. <laughs> This was such a fantastic segment. This is why The Rock is missed. There's nobody like him in the business. Ah! People's elbow! That's how you start off a freaking show, man. But guys, if there's more Rock segments, I'm just gonna add them into this reaction video. So, let's see what we got. Oh, here we go. We got Pat and The Rock backstage. Yeah, they, were, they, they went on. They would have went for two hours straight. No questions <laughs> asked. Would've... Denver would have went on. And two on hours. for two hours. You are. Thank you, brother. Yeah, I mean, what a great moment. Hell yeah. Yes. Man. Hey, there's a guy who can't see you. Ooh, The Rock and John Cena. Oh my god! That was one of the best well, WrestleMania build-ups of all time. I hate it. Welcome home. Come on. Wow, what a beautiful moment right there. And these two absolutely despised each other. And that rivalry, you know, made them become friends, which is wild.